Hi, this is Rob Holly with the uh, Boys Regional Youth. We have a great group. Uh, we have a, still have a mixture of younger and more experienced players. Uh, having a regional team this year compared to having a, just a select team last year gives a little bit of an advantage compared to last year. Um, but we still are you know, going through learning each other. Um, we had a really nice match down there during practices. We weren't quite coming together. We didn't have quite that excitement. Um, but that came together and that really showed uh, and happening down there. As far as it compared to you know, doing the international teams or you know, doing the professional team with the Wave, um, this is that bridge. And so my experience with the Wave lets me see where do they need to go. And then my experience with the younger players was like the 14s, and it's like, well, they've come from that point to here, and how can I take them to that next level? Um, that it's it's a, a game of IQ. You know, you've got to have a certain amount of IQ to understand how to play the game. It's not just about what's happening at the time, but what's getting ready to happen next. And how can I improve my game mentally and having a high IQ and having knowledge about the game more than just going out there and all the physicality about it. So if we can give them little bits of information about how they do things and then how other teams do things, then we can move forwards and, and really raise that level of IQ. It's definitely growing. Uh, we have high school starting. Uh, Venice has a new program uh, coming this year. So there are programs going out there. There's a big movement right now for college. Uh, Motor MV uh, B has started a program. It's this foundation that they're doing fundraising, trying to get mainly Division One, Division Two programs going. And with that, that's going to have a trickle down effect for the interest level and uh, the investment uh, for kids that have opportunities to play. So I think as that happens, as more college opportunities become available, you know, we started Weber last year. Uh, we had Warner right across the street from them with the team. Um, I think as those programs begin to continue growing, uh, that we're going to have more opportunities for the guys, and they're going to see that as a, a viable opportunity to play. Play, not just something that is way you know far away for them. So we're definitely growing. You know we've um, got two teams here that are regional level, but we're looking at going to select next year. So trying to get the age level just a little bit younger, so we can develop them a little younger, keep them in the program longer, and I think we're going to see more success as we we continue. Goals for the team: win a gold medal. I'm going to be honest. I'm I'm, I'm not going to you know it's like wow well, I want them to do well and I want no we want to win a gold medal and we believe we can do that. Uh, we have the players to do it. Uh, we've got an amazing outside in, in Omar. Oh, yes. uh, we've got some great setters, um, you know, and we've got some pretty good leadership coming through there. So it's it's good things that are good things happening. But yes, gold medal. Absolutely, yes. We've got uh, Omar Hoyos and uh, Jomar Modestin, uh, two really dynamic hitters. They're super athletic. Uh, Omar being just kind of a tall, lanky kid that even at 15 years old is playing at a very high level. He was an All-American at Nationals this year in their division. Uh, Jomar, uh, a little less known, has just been playing high school. I think he just started playing club this year. An amazing jumper. I mean, he literally is jumping and hitting over players today. Um, that's, that's pretty awesome to have that kind of level. He had a great passing day. Um, he passed like a, a 2.5, which is awesome for an outside hitter. And he's not really known for his passing, but he really focused in and did a great job there. Managed the game. We asked him to do things to change the game, and he did that too. So that was really cool. Omar came out there and was just a presence. You know, he's a big presence. Kids were scared of him, <laughs> and they should be. You know, he, he is a big presence. When he gets a hold of the ball, um, it, it's you're on their southern net, you're going to be scared. So, yeah, they, they're anchoring our, our program right now. Go Team Florida. I mean, yeah, I'm super stoked and, and super blessed to be here. It's my seventh year. I keep coming back because of the support we have from you know the region, the support we have from you guys. It's super cool. No one else has anything like this. And so it's just really, really you know, uh, a blessing to be here and, and so much appreciation for everything that the region does and that the guys and the girls here and the coaches are so invested in it. I don't think there's another region or program like it anywhere.